So example two, suppose you flip a fair coin seven times. How many possible outcomes are there? So thankfully it doesn't say list all of them, it just says um, how many possible outcomes. So think of each coin flip as a slot where one of two things can happen, heads or tails, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? And there are two possibilities for each of these, right? So two to the power seven, right? That's your answer. Um, suppose you roll dice nine times. How many possible outcomes are there? Well, two, three. So it's sort of like think of each roll of the die as, an, as a potential event that could have six different possibilities, right? And so each has six. And so this would be six, six to the ninth power, right? And so um, the other way that you'll see uh, the, um, the fundamental rule of counting is that it'll usually say, oh, if you have um, n events or n events, so events are the little possible, so if you have n possibilities, n possibilities, um, and, you know, k uh, number of events, then total outcome, is something like n to the k power, right? And so um, here, uh, you could see, you know, if you have n possibilities, so six possibilities for each um, of k events, then it's six to the ninth. And um, same thing here. Um, I, I may have mixed up the n and the k. I, I always forget which is which is which. But you know, this is roughly that idea, right? And um, you could see it more readily when you see each. Uh, each uh, event as sort of a slot to be filled with some possibility.